Hi YouTube, my name is Jasmine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you guys my July wrap up. Even though there's still two days left of the month, I won't have time to film this for a long time because I'm going on vacation, so I'm just pre-filming this. So yeah, I read a lot of books in July. I think I read like 18 or something crazy like that. It was 100% because of the book Junkie Trials. Like if it wasn't for that, I would not have read that much. And then next month I plan on reading a ton too because of the Newt's readathon. So it's just a lot of books. I don't know how I'm dealing with this, but um, I hit my Goodreads goal. Yay, my Goodreads goal was 75 books, and as of right now, I've read 77, so I made it. I don't have to stress out anymore. We're good. Anyway, let's just get straight into this wrap-up because there's a lot of books to talk about. Like I said, I participated in the book junkie trials and I was on Team Scribe. Go Team Scribe. I don't know if we won or not, but um, I don't think we did just because we're so far behind. But we're just gonna ignore that and let's just get straight into each prompt and whatever. Okay, it's in my bullet journal. The first prompt was Crimson Peaks, reread a favorite. So for this prompt, I reread Defy Me by Tahira Mafi. I tabbed it up for the first time and if you can see, that's a lot of tabs. Yeah, I can't wait for this to come out in paperback because I like all of them except for Restore Me and Defy Me in paperback and I want all of them to match. This is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series. This is the most recent one. If you don't know, Shatter Me is about a girl with a lethal touch and there's a bunch of character growth in the series and it is my fave. So yeah, although this isn't my favorite in the entire series, I think it's like my second favorite or like my third favorite. I definitely like it a lot more than Restore Me and I think I like it more than Shatter Me. I definitely like it more than Shatter Me. So yeah, I use this as a reread of fave. The next prompt was Queendom Stone. Read a book that features royalty. So for this one, I read a new release actually. I don't know exactly what month this came out, but I know they were giving out arcs at BookCon. So if they were giving out arcs at BookCon, it must be a new release. This book is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. I forgot to tell you hold up I gave this five out of five stars obviously anyway back to stepsister <laughs> so stepsister I really enjoyed this book I read this when I was on a mini vacation this book is a Cinderella retelling in the perspective of one of the ugly stepsisters it's very interesting you can see like the backstory of the evil stepsisters and like there's a journey it's good there's a small little romance in there I just really loved this retelling it wasn't anything like spectacular or anything and it wasn't like up to par with retellings like cinder but i definitely still enjoyed this book i think i gave it four out of five stars 3.5 i don't know i'll put it down there somewhere but yeah i really enjoyed this book and definitely check it out if you're in the mood for a retelling the next prompt is the forgotten forests and you're supposed to read the next book in a series so for this one i actually read a novella i'm pretty positive that counts like if it doesn't count i'm counting it because it technically is the next book in the series but whatever i read akafas so <laughs> <laughs> Acabas. Oh, this is the novella, the most recent book in the Akatar series. I think I liked it more than majority of the people because like everyone hates this book. Definitely didn't love it. Definitely my least favorite in the entire series because <laughs> not much happened. But um, I can't even give this book a rating. Like I think I originally said three stars, but now I'm thinking 2.5. We'll say 2.75 because I feel bad saying 2.5. So um, we're just going to forget about this and put it down. The next prompt is Weeping Falls. Read a tearjerker. So for this one, I read Persepolis. I did annotate the heck out of this thing. Yeah, this was a really good book. This is about a girl in Iran living her childhood during the Islamic Revolution. It's a very powerful book and I definitely think everyone should read it. It is a graphic novel. So yeah, it was definitely very, very sad at moments. I didn't full-on cry, but like I could definitely see where people would cry. I gave this book five out of five stars And it was my second graphic novel that I've ever read So I'm happy that I read Persepolis. The next prompt is well, the first prompt for my team Which is Dwarf Mount. Read a book with a hint of romance. So for this one I read A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I don't know why but I literally only put one tab Like I might as well just hide it and I used the wrong tab to whatever. Um, I read this This is about a guy named Monty and he is touring in London. Oh, 
he's touring through Europe let's just say that there's like a hint of romance it's more towards the end of the book Monty has a crush on his best friend what is his name Percy <laughs> this was interesting I did have some issues with it but like overall it was fine I think I gave it four stars so yeah I'm very willing to give like four stars I don't give anything three stars unless it's very very average if I find it like the least bit interesting I'll give it like four stars and if I love it love it I'll give it five stars so like I don't really give anything one star unless I literally despise the book like I didn't like after but I still gave it two stars I'm just too nice when it comes to stars so yeah I, I'll give something like a one star if I don't even know I don't even know I have to really 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 hate the thing to give it one star two stars is when it's just bad and there's like a couple problematic moments and then three star is like average four is like I enjoyed it not spectacular five stars is spectacular so this is four stars enjoyed it but not spectacular and had a little bit of issues so the next prompt is um, apothecary towers choose a book at random from your bookshelf so for this one I was so happy I got this book I read grace and fury by Tracy Baghart um I got her name right hallelujah <laughs> I have a TBR shelf over there but I don't really read much from that TBR shelf because the most stuff on that TBR shelf is like really long so I do have on like the very bottom of this shelf like the last shelf on this shelf is my TBR as well so I like spun around and I pointed to a book and I ended up pointing to this one and I was so happy because I've been meaning to read this for literally ever this book is kind of like you get selection vibes you know there is a competition to be like the prince's consort or they used a different word but I'm just gonna say consort this isn't really a spoiler because it happens in like the first 30 pages so we have the two main sisters Serena and Grace and I think Serena was the one who was like trained to be the consort and then she ends up going to the castle to be in the competition to be to be the prince's consort and then her sister Grace goes along with her but Grace captures the attention of the prince instead of Serena so yeah and then something happens to Serena and they end up getting separated it's very interesting I really enjoyed this book can't remember my star rating I think I gave it 3.5 stars but I really liked it so I think I'm gonna say four stars this is me just I changed my rating so much like you cannot listen to a word I say it was really good though I'm gonna give it four stars honestly I will continue this series it was better than average so the next prompt is the great library read a book that has been on your TBR for forever for this one I read Angel Fall I think I got this book back in 2017 and I think it's been on my TBR since like 2016 15 something crazy like it's been on my Goodreads TBR for the longest time ever it's just ridiculous that it took me so long to read this especially because I ended up loving this book this book if you don't know is about it's like a post-apocalyptic book where angels have gone bad and are like taking over the world so crazy I really liked this book and I see why it was so popular in 2012 I remember when this book was so popular on booktube that just proves how long I've been watching booktube um this book was everything and I think I gave it five stars so like wow the next prompt is drowning deep read a book with rich world building that will suck you into its own world so for this one I had originally said I would read King's Bane by Claire Legrand I do plan on still reading that because I'm buddy reading it with Sophie from Sophisticated Books but I did change out for that prompt you're technically not supposed to for this readathon but it is my superpower with being on team scribe that is my advantage that I could switch out a book for my TBR so I ended up reading Sorcery of Thorns I buddy read this with the lovely Isabella from Throne of Pages love Isabella go check out our channel yeah we ended up reading Sorcery of Thorns together and it definitely had some rich world building so I'm counting that um yeah that's the only book that I switched out for my TBR so we're good I loved Sorcery of Thorns so much honestly it was so interesting and I wish we were getting another book I don't think we are but like if we ever did I would be so happy it's about a girl forgot her name and I don't have a physical copy so I'm sorry she was like raised in the great library so library are a big part of this book there are books that come alive they're called grimoires the whole thing was just super interesting and I loved it so much I definitely plan on rereading it in the future so I'm giving that one five out of five stars this was a good reading one the next one is orc grove read a book that is gruesome gory or gritty so for this one I ended up reading unwind by Neil Schusterman I know the paperback book club read this book and everyone like hated it but I really liked it so I'm happy I liked it sorry they didn't yeah I've had this copy for like a 
while. I don't know, but I'm happy I got it because I've been meaning to read this book forever. Like one of my English teachers actually recommended this book to me because she knew that I loved reading so much and I'm happy she did. I love Neil Shusterman's writing. I love Scythe so much. Loved this book as well. If you don't know, this is like a dystopian book. Neil Shusterman does dystopian really well. Basically in this time period, it's illegal to have abortion. So they end up unwinding the children once they get to age 13, I think you legally have to like keep your child until they're 13 and then when they turn that age then you can choose to have them unwound which is basically taking them apart like part by part and every single part that they take out like they have to take out everything and they use it for transplants for other people so it is super crazy also in this world like you can just stork your children you're not allowed to abort them so sometimes parents just leave their child on the doorstep of another person's house it's ridiculous it's crazy this book was definitely gritty gory and and gruesome we did see one of the scenes where someone was being unwound and it was just like oh my actual gosh so yeah really love this book want to continue it yeah that's what I have to say I think I'm giving this five stars too wow Jasmine wow so the next prompt was Old Pirate Cove read a book that takes place at least part on sea so for this one I am currently reading this I have not finished it I'm reading Passenger by Alexandra Bracken um I definitely will be finishing that either today or tomorrow so I will finish it within the allotted time frame in July so don't worry I will definitely finish it I know this book has something to do with like time travel that's all I know so far from what I've read so far it is on the water so there we go we're good I'm just gonna move on because I don't know much about this book yet the next one is Glimmer. Read a colorful book. So for this one, I ended up reading Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. Wow, this was just like a Tahira Mafi month, you know? It's amazing. Um, I read Furthermore. This was so cute. It's an Alice in Wonderland retelling. I just loved this thing so, so much. Honestly, it was so cute. I wish there was like an actual sequel. I know there's like a sequel, but it's more of a companion than a sequel. So yeah, but this was just so cute. All I want to tell you is that it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling that's all I'm gonna say I gave this book five out of five stars as well this is a middle grade it was just so cute and I loved it so yeah to hear him off we did it again the next prompt is draconic isle read a book that has dragons in it so for this one I kind of cheated a little bit um I read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher's Stone so I did end up tabbing it this is my first time ever rereading Harry Potter and just wow I'm wearing a Harry Potter shirt right now actually if you couldn't tell like the lightning bolt and then like if you can see there's like names in it so there's Harry, Hermione, Ron, Luna, Ginny does that say Snape what does that say oh that's Dumbledore <laughs> funny I don't like him um I reread Harry Potter obviously five out of five stars y'all know what this is about I'm not even gonna say the next prompt was the elven guard read a book with war military or political themes so for this one I read all rights reserved I did not expect to like this book as much as I did honestly I kind of loved this thing I definitely think it needs more hype so definitely go check this out if the synopsis sounds interesting to you it is like kind of dystopian it's definitely in the future in this time period in America everything that you say every word that you say every gesture that you do like if you put your hand on someone's shoulder if you kiss someone if you hold someone's hand everything that you do you have to pay for because it is copyrighted it's ridiculous there's few things that are fair use that like everyone can do the only one that I can think of from this book is like that thing like zipping your lips that's like the only thing that's free that comes to mind you can laugh without being copyrighted if it's genuine so if someone just tells you like a bad joke and then you laugh just to be nice you get copyrighted for it the only way you don't get copyrighted is if it's genuine it's crazy so I don't know how this works like I just thought of this right now but I wonder if an actress is like acting and then she has to laugh or like cry or something would she get copyrighted this is crazy honestly for instance the word terms is is four dollars the word disremembered is thirty one dollars thirty ninety nine if we're being exact but whatever it's thirty one the word seasons is thirty eight dollars like this is ridiculous I definitely love this book you can see like the political aspects of it yeah I think I gave this one five out of five stars as well this was just a good reading month I'll put my stats in the description because I honestly don't even know I really loved this thing definitely go check it out the next prompt was on the hallow isle read and 
an atmospheric or horror book. So for this one, I ended up reading The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. This is the UK edition. I'm in love with this copy. I really did enjoy this. On the back, it says fans of The Raven Voice and Stranger Things. Gotta disagree about that. I'm a diehard Stranger Things fan, obviously. I did not get Stranger Things vibes from this. Unfortunately, like there was like a brief moment where like you could kind of compare it to the upside down like okay the like monstrous aspect of this thing is somewhat like reminiscent of Stranger Things but not enough like when I think Stranger Things I think like the kids and the relationships and 80s vibes and like this was not Stranger Things and it disappointed me like don't put that on the back of the book if it's not true and you know who said that? Claire Legrand, the author of Fury Born. You know, I'm kind of like disliking Claire Legrand more and more and more, but whatever. Um, I did meet her. She's a really nice person though. So I do have to dis agree to disagree about the Stranger Things reference. That was not it. I definitely did get Riverdale vibes and I'm actually into Riverdale again. Like what? I know. The Raven Boys, I can kind of pick up on a little bit, not too much. So the things as compared to, I disagree. Yeah let's just call it its own thing um it was very atmospheric though i did really enjoy the story if i had never heard anything about the comparisons to stranger things and the raven boys and riverdale all of which i love then i think i would have enjoyed this more i feel like i was just expecting a certain thing and i didn't get that because of how the book was pitched to me but overall it was still really good there's like kind of a magical element to this um i don't know how else to say it let me just read you the synopsis on the edge of town a beast haunts the woods trapped in the gray its bounds loosening a brood from the city, Violet Saunders doesn't have much hope of fitting in at her new school in Four Paths, a town almost buried in the woodlands of rural New York. So this is kind of where you get like the Riverdale vibes where it's like the secluded town. Get it? Anyway, the fact that she descended from one of the town's founders doesn't help much. Either her new neighbors treat her with distant respect or something very like fear. When she meets Justin May, Isaac, and Harper, all children of founder families, and sees the otherworldly destruction that they can wreak, she starts to wonder if the townsfolk are right to be afraid that's the like magical element that i was talking about they have like certain powers and each family has like a specific thing that they can do get it anyway when bodies start to appear in the woods the locals become downright hostile can teenagers solve the mystery of four paths in their own part of it before another calamity strikes so even for that synopsis i'm not hearing anything sounding like the raven boys i guess you can kind of like reference the relationships from the raven boys and compare it to this but i feel like no um so the main thing I can compare this to is Riverdale. That's like the main thing, but I still enjoyed it. I'm sounding like I didn't like it, but I did like it. Don't get me wrong. I liked the book and I definitely do want to reread this sometime. So yeah, I'm giving this 3.5 stars. <laughs> so the next prompt is Empty Barrel In, Read and Indulge in Read. So for this one, I ended up reading Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. I ended up losing this dust jacket and I feel so sad about it. Um, It's interesting. They put the cover picture like in the book. So that's what the cover looks like. There you go. I'm sure you've seen this thing before. I read Emergency Contact. This was an indulgent read because it was the only contemporary on my TBR. How I went that long with that many books and I had to read them in order. I don't know how I lasted so long. Yeah, this book was very average. It was cute, but also very average. It's about a girl and this guy who have like a relationship over the phone. They're texting, but they're like just friends. They may or may not develop into something more about the story. You'll have to read and see if you even care. Yeah, that's basically all this is about that's all i have to say i gave this three stars next the next prompt is giant squid read a book that intimidates you so for this one i ended up reading truly devious by maureen johnson this book intimidated me because this book was kind of long for the readathon it was 416 pages i did read things that were longer than 416 pages in the readathon but like it was still kind of intimidating the hype of this book intimidated me because sometimes when books have just so much hype i don't think i'll like it because they're it's just I feel like there's pressure on me to love it so yeah but I really loved this book I buddy read this with three of my friends I buddy read this with Nicole from Nicole and her books Stephanie from Nefa Entertainment and Noelle from Reads of Noelle yeah I loved this book they loved this book it was great we're going to be buddy reading the next book next month so I'm super excited and honestly we started like a whole friendship based on for this buddy read and I'm so happy love 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 five out of five stars i loved this thing so much and i loved the friends that i made because of it so now there's just like a bunch of positive connotations to this book and i'm obsessed so yeah <laughs>
So the last prompt for the book junkie trials was the bookie girl. Read Stardust. So I read Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Not my favorite. The entire plot of this, okay, minor spoilers. I don't know if you care or not, but like here's a minor spoiler. It's kind of a big spoiler, never mind. If you don't want to be spoiled, I'll put the book down. So, okay, if you don't know, this book is about a guy on his journey to like collect a fallen star so that he can marry this girl. Here comes the spoiler. He finds the girl halfway through the thing. So why in the heck am I reading this last hundred pages it doesn't make any sense um not my favorite kind of felt like a waste of time i wanted to dnf it but i couldn't i read it it's fine two stars next so the reading rush that was a thing i did too i'm not gonna go into the synopsises of these books i'm just gonna tell you what i read the night circus by aaron morgenstern i think i gave this four stars the hunger games by susan collins obviously five stars Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. I think this was 4.5 stars. Could have been 5. The rest of the story by Sarah Dessen. 4.5 stars. After I do, 4 stars. So yeah, those are all the books that I read in the month of July. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Let me know in the comments what your favorite read of July was. I'm interested. And I want to see if I read it. And if I haven't, I'll put it on my TBR. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a good day or night. Bye!